three, two, one. Yo! Welcome to Wyatt, and I'm your host, Wyatt O'Brien Evans. Brrr, wolf, God damn it! wolf, 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 wolf. Hey, to all my YouTubers out there, if you like what you hear, and I know you do, if you like what you see, I doubly know you do. Well, just click that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Just click it, click it, click it. I love to click it. Hey, today's Wyatt is a very, very special treat. It's the next installment in my series titled Bedtime with Porn Guys. I said Bedtime with Porn Guys. Yeah. Our special guest is Mr. Sky Knox. And he's taken the gay adult entertainment industry by storm, y'all. He's a Falcon Studios exclusive. He just won big time at this year's Gay VN Awards, which is like the Oscars of gay porn. And let me tell you, the brother has many assets. I said he has many assets. So, Let's talk to him right now. So let's just get it on. So without further ado, Wyatt, Wyatt, welcome to Mr. Sky Knox. Talk to me. How the hell are you? Hey, baby, I'm good. Yeah, I'm just enjoying this beautiful day in Montreal. Nice, 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 nice. Listen, I'm so glad you dropped by Wyatt. I'm a fan of your work, so... It's really nice to have a head-to-head -head talk with you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you for inviting me. I am very interested to see our conversation today. <laughs> it's going to take twists and turns, which is a really good thing. Good. First of all, my question to you is, why the stage name Sky Knox? Um, does it have a particular significance or meaning to you? Um, at the beginning, when you're choosing your name, you go through so many... Um, and I helped, I got the help from my friends, uh, specifically, and we went through so many horrible, bad names. <laughs> <laughs> and give then, us a, give us a few just for the fun of it. Oh, well, Ace, Ace was like something, a popular name that was trending that I really liked. Um, that got shut down. And then I <laughs> thought about doing something just simple, like share a one name. Like try to find uh, a male person. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I like the, that. Yeah, I stuck because we went. There's a bar in Toronto called Woody's, and we go to it all the time. It's our favorite bar. Okay. And we had never been in there during the day for some reason. It's an evening bar, right? And so we're sitting in the main area, and we had noticed a big skylight. Ah, okay. We like, yeah, we were yeah. like, wow, what's this skylight that we've never noticed before? And so the sky mm. part stuck into my head. Mm. And then it, it was just from there. I was like, well, the first name is definitely has to be Sky. Got and it. I matched it with a strong sounding last name. Yeah, it's, it's actually a very, it's an appealing stage name, very unique. So you, you did good. Yeah. Now, I want to congratulate you, man, on winning uh, Best Three-Way Scene at the Gay VN Falcon production. You know, the Gay VNs are like the Oscars of porn, so that's one hell of an honor. And the three-way scene is called Into the Woods with Trent King and Derek Thibo. Am I pronouncing his last name correctly? Um, honestly, I don't even know myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where he is. I think he's gone lost into the woods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, man, I see why you won. It's a hot, hot uh, scene. We're going to get into it a little bit later. But let me ask you, Sky, were you surprised when you got the trophy? And what were your feelings? Uh, yeah, you're, it's always, uh, you know, a good, good surprise when you get announced to win one of these awards. 
Uh, so that's my first uh, threesome award. So that was really um, mm. and Falcon Studios. You know, they're they've been my family for my whole career, pretty much. So it was good to win with that Canadian crew. It was an all Canadian mm. crew that we made that one, not mm. the Falcon Studios real studios. It was us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me say, man, I love your work. You really put yourself into it, including both your holes, <laughs> which <laughs> I had to slip that in there. I mean, look, man, you suck a mean dick. I mean, it's like it's sloppy wet, which I like. You take it to the root. I like that even better. I mean, your middle name is voracious. So... <laughs> I mean, seriously, my audience, my audience, my audience, let me tell you something. Every time I say that, it makes me feel good. You are so electric on screen. So tell us how you get into the mood. You know, how do you throw yourself into what you do? Because you do it really well. Well, I do love sucking dick. Dick sucking is like, you know, like my hobby. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when they make that song Throat Goat, I went, well, oh, well, that's me. <laughs> and some people are trying to call themselves Throat Goats, and I, I literally have to shut them down or send them a video of them sucking dick going, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but to get into that mood of Sky Knox on set, um, mm -hmm. you know, I have my morning routine and I build up my my mind and I get into the zone of Sky Knox. And as a performer, my whole life, I'm able to do that. So I've, I have had dance training, acting, theater training, all of that. So that has helped me actually in porn. Oh, I'm sure it does. I mean, you just infuse all of that into your scenes, which is really, really good. Okay. Now, before we really drill down into your adult entertainment career, my friend, mm. Let us walk through the quarters of time so that our audience can learn all about your backstory. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. Where were you born and raised? Well, I'm Canadian. I like uh -huh. to call myself the Canadian superstar. Um, and I was born in Sudbury, Ontario. It's a northern city, or not even city, probably town, just uh -huh. uh, about five hours north of Toronto. Okay. And my family, though, they are Russian. So I am of Russian. Accent. Really? Yeah. Both your mom and your father? Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. Um, I always like to ask my special guests this question because I laugh. And here it is. What was Sky like as a little boy, a little nipper? Give us like three characteristics, qualities, attributes that best described you? Um, well, flamboyant. I was always a flamboyant little kid wearing okay. my mom's clothes. and jewelry. Really? Get out. I was, yeah. I think most, lots of gay boys, I feel like, do that. <laughs> okay. um, loud. Very loud. Very loud. Always had an opinion. Always had to speak my mind. Uh -huh. And troublemaker. I was a pretty, I was a bad boy. I was a trouble. No. Yeah. What kind of trouble did you get into? Oh, like me and my neighbor specifically, we would just like be stupid little boys, like going, running around the, running around our neighborhood, like trying to throw rocks at people, like <laughs> trying to like, <laughs> throw old I love ladies, it. like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You threw rocks at little old ladies? No, no, no. We threw rocks at more of like the kids. We scared okay. them a little. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, um, let us fast forward because I believe it's my understanding that your career as a model, you travel the world, led you into the adult entertainment industry. So how exactly did that happen? Um, so I had just finished a contract for, uh, cruise ships and, oh, cool. um, after that I was like, okay, I'm done cruise ships. And I went on other tours. I did a Cirque tour in Dubai and really? China 
And then, oh, and then eventually, um, you know, social media started blowing up. Mm-hmm. Instagram beca- started getting so popular. Right. And um, I had got messages from several porn studios asking if I had ever thought about doing porn. And I literally never thought about it. Really? And okay. Because of that, it put, put it into my brain. Oh, maybe, maybe I can. I'm an entertainer. I use my body as my art form anyways. Let's express my sexual side. And from then on, blew up and I loved it. Wow. I think you've been in the industry so far for like five years. Yeah, we're coming on. Like yeah, we're coming on six years, to be honest. This this winter, this winter season will be six. Yeah. Great. Well, I think you did your first scene with men.com, correct? I did. Yeah. Well, how was it? Did you have any trepid? Were you trepidatious? Were you nervous? Um what was that experience like and how did it turn out? Well, I was I was nervous because I just didn't know what I was going into and what exactly right. I had to do. But that's okay. the only part I was nervous for. The performing the performance and being naked. I was already comfortable being naked. As a dancer, we get naked and changed together all the time. And right. I'm a gay man, so I have lots of sex. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So we were in, <laughs> we, they flew us to um, upstate New York. They rented okay. a big cabin. It was an all winter hunt, huntsman, I think it was even called. And the directors, Bruce and Ian, they were so welcoming, so loving. My first scene partner, everything, everything about that movie was incredible. And what was the title of the movie? Uh, I believe it's called The Huntsman. I remember that. Yeah. I believe, yeah. Teddy, Teddy Torres was in it too. That's when I met Teddy. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so well. Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. cool. Okay, I'm going to go to my cheat cards right now. I found this in my research, you know, particularly with porn stars, I love doing my research. I mean, you know, I have to do that. Because as a podcaster and a journalist, I mean, you've got to know what you're talking about. That makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. But anyway, I found this written interview uh-huh. from uh, MeansHappy.com where you stated, and I quote, I'm 100% an exhibitionist. I was born to be on stage or in front of a camera. It's where I can open up. I just know you open up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to slip that in there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's where I can open up, express myself, and really be free. Sex is more than just fucking for me. It's pure passion and art and art mixed together. That's deep. Let's unpack that. Well, it's, it, it's true. Sex can be art. And mm-hmm. for me... Sex is pure passion. When I'm having, like, I wish I could show the world more just my personal sex, but mm-hmm. um, I'm a studio actor, so they get they get the studio side of me. But when I'm having sex, it's pure passion in my in my mind, in my eyes. When I'm looking, when I'm connecting to my scene partner, right. I'm thinking of the shapes of our body and how they create wonderful pictures as our scene is going on i'm constantly making sure my scene partner looks beautiful just as much as i do and then as doing that the scene turns out beautifully even if we're not into each other (laughs) yeah i noticed that about you you're not a selfish actor you also let your screen partner shine which i think is really important another thing i like about you is your verbal you know what I hate? You know, when you're in, in when you're in bed with a guy, I, don't you hate it when they don't talk to you it's and they don't they don't even grunt. It's like they're just there. I need somebody who's verbal. Yes, I agree. <laughs> and I need you, to hear a story. I need to hear a moan. I need to hear wet noises. I need to hear something. I need to hear sentences as well. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> That is cool. Okay. Um, 
you are a Falcon Studios exclusive. Ah, uh, yes. Well, currently I ha- I'm like an open exclusive. So mm-hmm. because I live in Canada and the rules have been changing in the state, ah, okay. I can't film there as much. So I have been allowed to film openly at the moment. So that means that you can work for other studios. Yeah. Okay, but, but you're more money. <laughs> more money, more money, more money. That's that's great. Yeah. Um, so what's it like working for Falcon? Well, they they are the number one porn studio in the world, gay porn studio. Mm-hmm. They just are. They they've proven it with the models they recruit as. Um, exclusives and the quality of their work. Look how many awards Falcon wins. Look how many of the models win awards. Look how many iconic directors come and blow the industry away. It is always evolving, always changing. But as we know, all good things are coming to an end. And I don't know the future for Falcon, to be honest. Well, yeah, actually, the 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 future for any of the any of the studios because with OnlyFans, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, with OnlyFans and and people, you know, doing homemade porn, so to speak. I imagine that's really cutting out a lot of the, you know, what I mean. It is. It's yeah. It's uh, we used to film in Montreal just Montreal. We used to film at least 20 to 25 scenes a month. And that's from all different studios, men.com, Falcon, uh, some of the European men at play, all those. And now it keeps getting less and less and less. Whoa. Yeah. Falcon used to do a big movie every month. And now it's not like that anymore. Well, you know, that brings me to Into the Woods. And like I said before, man, it was it's an excellent, I want my audience to know, you really need to see it. It's excellent. Um, Falcon put a lot of money, I think anyway, into the production and the direction because all of that was really on point. And the scenery was so handsome and masculine. Um, you guys moved so well together and worked so well together. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a very manly man type of scene, you know? And again, it's you, it's Trent King, it's with Derek Thibault. So if you would, Sky, tell us about your experience with Into the Woods and just break it down for us. Tell us the plot, that sort of thing. Well, essentially, yeah, because in Canada, we have literally the great outdoors in our backyard. You do? So Falcon asked uh, the Montreal team to create a movie inspired by that. Oh, and okay. we hunted down different locations that we were able to film because, you know, some of the areas they filmed at was a little risky. <laughs> to be honest. I can imagine, uh, yeah. So yeah, so we we just kind of like created different outside scenarios of how you would kind of like meet or end up having sexual fantasies going into the wilderness, you know? Ah, okay. But our scene, I will say, is an illusion. It looks so gorgeous. And it, you know, it was. Mm. But for us, it was not. It was oh. a nightmare. <laughs> okay, Nancy, this is good. This is good. Tell us more. Tell us more. Yeah, it was, first of all, we filmed it, I'm going to say, in September, maybe even the beginning of October. I can't remember. And it was freezing cold. I'm Ooh. talking like you can see your breath. Ooh. I'm talking the lube was starting to turn into icicles. What? Crents. Trent's dick literally felt like a giant sky, ice, really? Ice cube being shoved inside me. <laughs> and he's a big boy as it is. That's a big boy, that's for sure. Sheesh. And it, yeah, it just, it was, 
it was a very, very difficult scene to film. So it was like constantly running and putting coats on to warm up and then like running back and fucking, coming warming up, running back and sucking. <laughs> it was it was a it was a challenge. So the scene was definitely deserved to win, thank God. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, how long did it take to film the scene? Two days. Two days. Two days. We okay. started, we did all like the B-roll one day and then it just got too cold to have sex. So we had to come back a few days later to continue because it was that cold. Well, the viewer would not think for a minute, for a second that all of that crap went down. Sure. That's wild. But it's still a manly man scene, y'all. It's manly man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grabbing those fishing poles, you know? Oof. And you, my man, were the center of attention a lot of the time. I do like to take center stage, yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I kind of thought you did. <laughs> okay, you've got your own... Um, fan subscription, you know, uh, components like uh, just for fans, that sort of thing, correct? I have OnlyFans. That's the only site I use because mm -hmm. um, honest, but I honestly haven't posted in a while. Um, I am more of a studio performer. The, right. the con I call it content creators world is just something I haven't fully grasp or been too interested in um and uh but i guess i'm going to have to start soon <laughs> but <laughs> it's just something that i haven't been in enjoyed really right right yeah well that leads me to this question sky how much of the studio market share is being impacted sliced away by you know, only fans, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's a, like pretty much it's going to be that there's no more studios wow. soon, or the studios will start an only fans page or something, you know, they're just not making the money. They're just mm -hmm. not making the money and they're not getting quality performers anymore. Where when I was starting with Falcon, our whole team was just superstar. Okay. You know, like Cade Maddox. Cade Maddox is a superstar. Absolutely. Can you say that about the rest of his team right now? Maybe not. You know, mm -hmm. they're wonderful boys, mm -hmm. but are they a porn star? I don't know. Right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I see that happening as well. Um, I'm going to have a little fun with you. Let us play the rapid fire round. And this is how it's going to work. <laughs> Look at you. I'm going to throw out the name of a performer that you've worked with. Okay. And then I want you to immediately, without thinking a lot about it, give me a one word adjective descriptor to describe that person. Got it. So are you ready? Ready. Mr. Knox, are you ready to roll? Ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. D'Angelo Jackson. Ooh, juicy. Okay. Uh, William Seed. Straight. Okay. Explain that I work with a lot of straight boys and some of them I'm like, mm, I don't think you're straight, but he is so straight. <laughs> it's oh. just, but still a good performer, but like 100% that is a straight man. I heard that. I heard that. Okay. Jason Vario. Huge. <laughs> All over. Huge. In every way. <laughs> he had, for his height, in his, uh, yeah, for his height, he is impeccably built. It's so proportioned. The body is sculpted from the gods. The dick is like Zeus's lightning bolt. 
the ass. Like, it's just, that's a perfect man right there. His dick is Zeus's thunderbolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I felt I, it, so I know. I, oh, yeah, you would know. So that's, a, that's enough. Okay, here we go. What about, uh, <laughs> what about Boomer Banks? Trash. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you sh- listen, you shocked the hell. You got me. Oh, I, I, you know, come on. Are you, are, are you being serious or what? No, no, I just had to call someone trash because I like oh. to call people trash. He's, okay. He is glamorous trash, if anything. But no, I'll say queer. He is queer. Okay. He is grown into this beautiful queer positive man that I love. I love his fashion line he does. Uh, I love his New York, you know, boss bitch attitude. I like that. Yeah. Okay, what about Kenzo Alvarez? Lover. So you're saying he's very romantic? Um... Yeah, he is a Latino, so he brings the heat, uh-huh. he brings the passion. Poppy, poppy, yes. He, he doesn't need any, um, you know, help with, you know, dick injections or anything with me. I get him hard like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. What about Trent King? Trent King. Oh. Jokester. Oh, uh, okay. Just okay. as sexy as you know, big, big like Jason, Jason, you know, they're both huge, sexy, gorgeous, beautiful performers. But Trent, he likes to joke around. He likes to, he's the, on set, he's always joking, being the, <laughs> the goofball, all of that. And that's what makes a great day on set with him. Oh, cool. All right. Now, um, you have said that, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Arad Winwin is your gay porn hero and he's your inspiration. Tell us a little bit about that, Sky. Yeah, I'll always say forever and always, Arad Winwin is has my heart. He's my favorite scene partner. He's my favorite person to go on tour with and host or dance events or just hang out. He is 100% real mm-hmm. and never gives you any fake attitude or bitchiness. He is pure gold. And his story coming from where he grew yeah. up to right. becoming this rising model turned into porn star, his, his, his life is inspiration. And I'm so happy that he can inspire the youth to be more sexually confident in themselves. That's awesome. Um... Okay, in your scenes, do you do you have a preference as far as one on ones, threesomes, groups, and if so, why? Why not? Um. Yeah, I like one on one is the best because then you it's just about you two connecting, uh-huh. and you don't have to. You know, your focus is obvious. You're focusing on that. Right. When when I have more than one scene partner, it tends to kind of go all over the place. Sometimes the actors are not connected. And so the scene for me maybe has no focus. Is it uh-huh. hot? Sure. Are there tons of dicks? Who doesn't like five dicks, you know? <laughs> but I definitely prefer to connect one on one. Got it. Got it. Um Okay, let's get serious for a second. Monkeypox. Um, you know, Brian Bonds and Boomer Banks are recovering, thank God. How is, Sky, how is the industry addressing monkeypox? I think they, they have gotten a hold of it quite fast. They spread the word. They told everybody this is a huge problem in our community get the vaccine, don't take it as a joke. And I'm happy that people who 
did get monkeypox actually spoke up and posted videos right. and photos mm -hmm. to warn people. Because I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could post a photo or video of all of that on my face and, you know, but I'm happy that they did so that people could be aware. And currently it's still not good and it's like not 100% over yet. And I hope it can be soon. Yeah, because I think I saw recently some images of, I think his name is Silver Steel. Yeah. I don't know much about him, so I've got to do some research on him. But <laughs> taking notes, taking notes. Yeah, I, listen. <laughs> yes, I have to do that, you know, because I might want to interview him one day. Oh. But anyway, yeah, I mean, he told the story as well, and he had a lot of the, you know, the, the, the lesions, and it's nothing to. I'm telling you, everybody, monkeypox is nothing to play with. Yeah, it is vicious. It is disgusting. It is, it is so many awful things. And then also, too, you can get it in your anus. And I mean, I, I, I've yeah. seen I've seen somebody with it in their anus. It is horrifying, and the pain is excruciating. I like going to the bathroom, they said is just not the one. <laughs> Uh, okay, on a lighter note, I'm glad we had that discussion, but yeah. on a lighter note... Bye, monkey I, pops, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you're also, look, man, you wear a lot of hats. You're also a home chef. I am, yeah. Uh, I, I have always been um, in love with cooking. I've watched the cooking channel, the Food Network, my whole life. I grew up cooking with my family. I host dinner parties and uh, I actually do want to start filming myself cooking more. Oh, wow. Have, yeah. Uh, it's going to probably be a next year thing. Right. Um, but I do want to start my own cooking channel type thing. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Let me ask you this. What's your like three to five year plan? Do you want to in the biz? Do you want to produce? Do you want to direct? What does Sky Knox want to do? Um, so, yeah, over the next five years, I definitely want to start filming my own content. Nice. Where I know I might not necessarily always have to be in it. Right. I have such a creative mind and I want to, you know, create my own work. Um, now I just have to figure out where I want to do that. Um, Palm Springs has always been in my, like my favorite place to go. And I am contemplating on moving there soon. I just don't know how soon it will right. be. Um, and then I have my really good friend, Michonne there. And I would like to him to be kind of like my partner and us to do it kind of together. Hopefully that would be ideal and that's where my brain my mind my heart is all saying to go and do that and you should i mean because i think i believe you have that entrepreneurial spirit within you i mean for example my hat is off to jd daniels who just recently formed lux studios um so and i really believe that lux is going to explode so you got to do i think Correct me if I'm wrong. I think a performer has not the longest shelf life. And you have to do stuff behind the scenes as well so that you can really have longevity in adult entertainment. That's true. Yeah. You, people, you know, you, you can't film every month for your whole life. People will eventually be like, oh, just another another sky knock scene. Wonderful. Look at that. Na, na, na. It's good to take breaks from filming. It's good to right. surprise them. It's good to be a part of it in every way. Got it. Well, Mr. Knox, um, what projects, appearances do you have scheduled for like the end of September through the rest of 2022? 
Um, so I, I'm going to be going to Toronto at the end of this month and I'll be working at the well, um, and doing a JJ Malibu photo shoot as well. Wow. And, and throughout the rest of the year, I have a few places like I'll do Chicago. Uh, I'll do, a, I'll host hydrates Halloween weekend. Um, hydrates my second home. I like perform there all the time in Chicago. Um, when it comes to filming, I think I'm going to take a little bit of break for my mind, body, and soul. Oh, okay. I know I need a, the, 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 a, a few months of no sex filming, just sex and personal sex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I do, though, have um, a newcomer moving from Australia. Um, I met him while, while filming a show um, uh, in Australia, and... He came to visit me and he fell in love with being here and he loves what I do and he wants to become a porn star. So watch out. I'll be creating a new Australian sex god. So stay tuned for him. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. I will stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is so sexy. Okay. Well, Sky, how can us grown folk connect with you, follow you? Give us all of your social media, please. Um, well, I mostly am on Instagram, um, at Sky Knox. I do have a Twitter. It's at Knox Sky, but it's like my, I don't know, third or fourth one. For some reason, Twitter hates me. <laughs> so I hate it back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are, those are my two main ones. Uh, cool. and then I also, um, if they want to see me live, Every Wednesday, I uh, I work for Cam Four, um, so from four to six Eastern, they can see me live uh, every Wednesday. Now, who wouldn't want to see you live? Huh? Right? huh? There you go, <laughs> Mister Sky Knox. I want to thank you for stopping by, Wyatt. Man, it has been an absolute blast. Oh yeah, this was so much fun. Our conversation was hilarious i was like loving it this you are the best energy and i like our flow together all i can say is yes <laughs> yes <thanks>. <laughs> listen <laughs> thank you again i greatly appreciate it thank you so there you have it you can find the official wyatt podcast page on wyattevans.com the go-to destination for LGBTQ news, features, commentary, and entertainment. WyattEvans.com is visited by over 100 countries on the regular. Yeah. And at WyattEvans.com, you'll find my smoking hot, H-A-W-T hot, Nothing Can Tears Apart series of novels. The latest installment is titled Frenzy! Yeah, frenzy. And frenzy is just chock full of masculine romance, action, intrigue, danger, mystery, passion, and all the erotica that you will ever, ever need. And its predecessor is rage. All at WyattEvans.com. And I am feverishly working, pinning, writing, blotting out. The sequel in the Nothing Can Tear Us Apart series of novels. More information to come. Now, if you want to talk to me about anything, you can email me at wyattonair at gmail.com. You can follow me, your host, Wyatt O'Brien Evans, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and you see all my social media right there. Is all right there for you. All right? Avail yourself of it. So until next time, y'all. Woof, goddammit. Woof, woof, woof. I said woof. <laughs>